Hey guys, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day 21 of Vlogmas. I am so excited that we are almost done, but I've been having so much fun with this for you guys. But anyway, it is like 8.20 in the morning right now. Today is Monday. I'm already dressed and ready for the day. I can link this sweatshirt down below if you guys are curious. I can also link my headband. It is from Fitness Fox. If you guys have been watching me, you probably already know that. But let's open the advent calendar and then I'll tell you a little bit about what we have going on for today. So day 21 is up here. It is the holiday armadillo today. Today we have two more recipe cards. So today is Mr. Trigger's holiday party nachos and Joey's burger commercial burger. So these are really cute, similar to a few days ago, a few weeks ago, maybe at this point where I had a few other recipe cards. So yeah, the plan for today, I have a order that I placed at the container store to go pick up because they were doing 15% off if you did order pickup. So I have that and then we are going to walk around the container store. It's like my favorite store ever. <laughs> I love all of that kind of stuff. And you guys, if you guys have been watching me for the past few weeks, you know I've been like super into organizing my space like more so than usual recently. So um, we're gonna go there, my mom and I, maybe my dad, but I think my mom and I for sure. And we're gonna pick up my order and look for some extra stuff while we're there. And then depending on what time we get back from the container store, because it's like 45 minutes away, we are gonna go to a drive-through light show tonight um, down at the PNC Bank Arts Center, which will be really fun. If we don't get back in time, we'll just go tomorrow. We're not like in too much of a rush to get there, but yeah, that is the plan for today. I'm going to figure out what I want to eat for breakfast and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. So it is 11.30 right now. I just spent the morning watching the new Ariana Grande Sweetener Tour concert movie thing. I don't know, I really like stuff like that. And now I'm watching the Netflix movie Prom, another musical-based movie, of course, until we get ready to go to the container store in a little bit. We should go within the hour or so. But yeah, I haven't really been doing much to update on, but wanted to make sure I said something before we end up at the container store. Okay, so we are at the container store. We're gonna shop around too and then pick up my order while we're in there because even though I did curbside, you can pick it up in the store too. So I will show you guys everything that we get when I get home. All right, so we are back from the container store. So I wanted to show you guys what I picked up while I was there. So starting off with this item that is all wrapped up for me. I got this glass jar to put all of my liquid IV packets in it. It's nice because it has a little like attached top so I can keep them all in here like in a cute more organized way than just like thrown in my cabinet and then I got this jewelry stand that also has like a spot for my I can see you laughing at me and then I got this like jewelry organizer thing that has some hooks as well as like a bracelet thing and then like a spot for your phone and everything I thought this would be nice to have on my nightstand because I have that jewelry box from Amazon that I've talked about, but I broke the straps on it so it doesn't like stay open anymore or anything. So I thought I could use this just to give myself some extra jewelry storage and then have a way for my jewelry to be like out and displayed nicely. And it was only like $25. I'll link everything down below 
that I can find on their website in case you guys are curious as well. And then I got two containers from the Home Edit collection, which is who inspired me to do most of my organizing in my apartment. But this one is the hair accessory bin with the sliding tray. So it's all taped together, but this part like slides back and forth and it's like a little shallow tray that you can put like smaller hair ties or like bobby pins and hair clips in. And then this bigger one is designed for like scrunchies and stuff. So I think what I'll do is I'll put either my scrunchies or my headbands in the bottom of this part and then put like hair clips and stuff up here just so it's more contained and organized rather than just thrown into my ottoman like you guys have seen how I store it now. And then the other thing I got from the Home Edit Collection is the hair tool holder. So it has this silicone one for like tools that are hot so it won't burn the container that you can put in here. And then it has other slots for like a curling iron, hair brushes, um, straighteners, full blown hair dryers, whatever you want to put in here. So I thought this would be nice since I don't have really any room in my bathroom to store basically anything. This could be nice to keep like under my desk or in my closet to just more neatly keep my hair tools under control instead of in a giant knot like they are in my closet right now. And then second to last thing I got is this is one of their sliding shoe boxes, I believe, but it's just a drawer thing that was on sale actually and I figured Either my scrunchies or my headbands can go in here. Probably my scrunchies because this one is bigger than the hair tools one and I have less headbands and they're more like, I feel like the headbands will fit better in this one and the scrunchies will fit better in this one. But we'll see when I bring it back to my apartment and actually get them all organized. And then last but not least, my parents and I both got a set of these which is why we did order pickup for these, just to make sure we could get two. So this is the six piece Baker storage set. So they're these airtight containers that you use to store like flour and brown sugar and regular sugar and powdered sugar and stuff. So I'm gonna open this one because this is the one we're gonna fill up now for my parents' house. Okay, so this one is the little mini one and you just pop it open like that and it has like a little shaker thing in there so you can do like, I, on the picture on the box, it has like sprinkles and stuff in these or like nuts and stuff for baking. Okay, so this one is the powdered sugar one. So it has like this thing in here that you can slide to like have it be like a sifter. You can have it be like a sifter for your powdered sugar and stuff, which is nice. So this one inside of this one is the other mini one, which is the exact same thing as the first mini container. And then, so this one is designed for sugar. It has the little like spout at the top. So you can just pour the sugar straight out of here. You don't even need a scoop. Can't remember if I said this already, but these are airtight. So you just seal them back together by, so then you can just clip it back together and it's airtight. So the stuff doesn't go bad. And it has like a measuring cup on the side. So you can see how many cups. This one holds eight cups, for example. Okay, so this one is the brown sugar one and it comes with the little disc thing that you keep in the lid to keep the brown sugar from like becoming a giant brick. And again, this one has measuring stuff on the side. So this one holds six cups. And of course you don't have to exactly use it for what they're marketed towards, but each one of them comes with like a little accessory. So you kind of know what it's geared for. And we've specifically bought the baking set with the intention of using it for baking stuff. So the last one is the flour one and that is the biggest one over here. And it does come with a little scraper attachment so you can scrape off your measuring cup when you're scooping it out. And this one holds 15 cups. So obviously by far the biggest one. And the set for the six containers was only $60. So a really good value in my opinion. I will let you guys know as we use them more how good they really are. I think I might go back tomorrow and pick up another set of the like OXO brand ones um, for like pasta and other dry goods and stuff just because as one person the idea of these are really nice so I don't have stuff go stale and go bad as fast as it usually does for me because this will keep it airtight and keep it fresher for longer. So yeah that is everything that we got from the container store today 
and um, I'll insert a clip after this of us filling up all these containers so you can see a little bit more of how they work. Okay, so we are here at the PNC Bank Art Center for the light show. We are waiting in line now to be let in, but I will get some clips of all the lights and stuff for you guys as we drive through. Christmas, you filthy animal, and a happy new year.
Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, and a Happy New Year. It is about eight o'clock right now. We just got back from the light show. It was really cute and it was only like $20 when we pre-ordered the tickets for it. So it was like $20 for just a car and you could have as many people as you wanted that fit in the car basically. So since it is Monday, we are gonna be watching night one of two of the Bachelorette finale tonight. So I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to catch all of the future videos that I upload. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing, a bushel of fun.